In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters, and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of Rosary of Manawag. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. God of might, giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name, so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good, and by your watchful care, keep safe what you have nurtured. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, I could not talk to you as spiritual people, but as fleshly people, as infants in Christ. I fed you milk, not solid food, because you were unable to take it. Indeed, you are still not able, even now, for you are still of the flesh. While there is jealousy and rivalry among you, are you not of the flesh and walking according to the manner of men? Whenever someone says, I belong to Paul, and another, I belong to Apollos, are you not merely men? What is Apollos after all, and what is Paul? Ministers through whom you became believers, just as the Lord assigned each one. I planted Apollos water, but God caused the growth. Therefore, neither the one who plants nor the one who waters is anything, but only God and he who waters are one. He who plants and he who waters are one, and each will receive wages in proportion to his labor. For we are God's co-workers, you are God's field, God's building. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Blessed the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen for his own inheritance. From heaven the Lord looks down, he sees all mankind. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. From his fixed throne he beholds all who dwell on the earth. He who fashioned the heart of each, he who knows all their works. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. For in him our hearts rejoice, in his holy name we trust. Bless the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Please stand. The Lord sent me to bring glad tidings to the poor. 
and to proclaim liberty to captives. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. After Jesus left the synagogue, he entered the house of Simon. Simon's mother-in-law was afflicted with a severe fever, and they interceded with him about her. He stood over her, rebuked the fever, and it left her. She got up immediately and waited on them. At sunset, all who had people sick with various diseases brought them to him. He laid his hands on each of them and cured them. And demons also came out from many, shouting, You are the Son of God. But he rebuked them and did not allow them to speak because they knew that he was the Christ. At daybreak, Jesus left and went to a deserted place. The crowds went looking for him, and when they came to him, they tried to prevent him from leaving them. But he said to them, To the other towns also, I must proclaim the good news of the kingdom of God, because for this purpose I have been sent. And he was preaching in the synagogues of Judea. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Ito'y naririnig natin kadalasan, siguro sa usapan o sa kanta o sa normal na pagpupulong, yung sinasabi natin na wag sulohin ang blessing. Wag sulohin ang blessing. Kaya nga sa mga kanta, may isang kanta na isip ko, yung sinasabi ng kanta, Akin ka na lang, akin ka na lang. Para mga bata, gustong sulohin ang anong meron siya. Kaya nga sa ating unang pagbasa, itong sinabi ni San Pablo, you are like children. Alam niyo kapag ginawa natin exclusive, exclusive kung anong meron tayo, nagkakaroon ng division nagkakaroon ng pagkawatak-watak, nagkakaroon ng rivalry and jealousy na binanggit ni San, San Pablo dito sa unang pagbasa. Sabi niya, din ba ang sinabi niya, I belong to Apollos, I belong to Paul, kanya-kanya tayong samahan, kanya-kanyang grupo, kanya-kanyang kampo. Ito ang hindi maganda, lalo na pagdating sa blessings at kahit pagdating sa Panginoon. Ito ang paalala ng ating Panginoon sa mga tao na pinigilan siyang umalis sa kanilang lugar. Sabi dito, they prevent him, try to prevent him from leaving them. Ano sabi ng ating Panginoon? Eh, kailangan ko rin pumunta sa ibang lugar. Ano kayong pakiramdam ng mga taong ito? Nakita mga kababalaghang ginawa ng ating Panginoon? Miracles, cures, etc., etc., Gustong sulohin ang blessing. Gustong sulohin ang Panginoon. Paalala sa atin, mga kapatid, dalawang bagay sa araw na ito. Unang-una, huwag natin pigilan ang Panginoon sa iba. Huwag natin sulohin ang Panginoon ang blessing sa ating buhay. At tulad niya, pumunta tayo sa iba at ibahagi ang magandang balita. It's no longer the Lord who will go to different places and towns to proclaim the kingdom of God, but we ourselves need to go to places at dapat hindi na rin tayo pigilan. Alam niyo, nakakalungkot yung mga gusto magpare, magmadre, magtrabaho sa simbahan, pinipigilan, magulang ang pumipigil, Ibang taong pumipigil. Mga kapatid, huwag po tayong papigil. We need to proclaim the kingdom of God like Jesus. Go to places. Ikalawa, pwede natin gawin, 
mari hindi tayo pumunta sa ibang lugar at ipahayag ang magandang balita ng Panginoon. Meron, pwede naman tayong magbahagi kung anong meron tayo. Hinanap ko talaga ito kasi narinig ko at nabasa noon pa. Matagal na, isang tinatawag na Fathers of the Church. Pangalan niya si Saint Basil or Saint Basil the Great is the Saint of Social Justice. Yung quotation niya ay laging bumabalik sa akin. At para sa akin ay napakagandang ibahagi din sa inyo. It will help us share what we have to others. Sabi niya, The bread which you do not use is the bread of the hungry. The garment hanging in your wardrobe is the garment of him who is naked. The shoes that you do not wear are the shoes of the one who is barefoot. The money that you locked away, wala pa sigurong banko noon, that you lock away, dagdagan natin, in your bank, in your bank account, is the money of the poor. The acts of charity that you do not perform are so many injustices that you commit. Nakakatuwang pakinggan, mga kapatid. Yung pala mga tinatago natin, hindi natin ibinibahagi sa iba, is an act of injustice. Napalala sa atin ngayon, huwag sunohin ang blessing. Sana po, hindi lang tayo magdala ng blessing sa iba, tayo rin ay maging blessing. O sabihan natin yung katabi natin ngayon, sabihan niyo po, sundan niyo ako. Kapatid, sabihan niyo, kapatid, share your blessings. Please stand. Like the people who brought to Jesus, all who were sick or possessed by demons, we bring before a heavenly Father all who are filled with pain and sorrow and in need of healing love. Let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer, that the church may seek to free persons from whatever stands in the way of communicate, communicating the gospel to men and women of our time. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer, that the Lord may give hope and encouragement to the starving of the world who are unjustly deprived of food, clothing, or freedom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who suffer from depression and anxiety may find in Christ a sure anchor as the way, the truth, and the life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those suffering through illness, for whom life has become an intolerable burden, may see meaning in their trials. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead and those who mourn may have hope in the resurrection of Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And now in silence, we offer to the Lord our other personal and communal intentions. Almighty Father, watch over your family, protect us, and keep us in your care, for all our hope is in you. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that may sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessing of salvation, that what it celebrates in mystery, it may accomplish in power through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son, you created the human race. So also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and being heard to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. 
Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Dominic, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, through Him, and with Him, and in Him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art, who art in heaven, in heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy heaven. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace with you. Peace. Lamb of God, God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and steer us to serve you in our neighbor. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for the announcement. Dear devotees of Our Lady of Manawag, the October Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag will be on October 2, 2022. We invite you to participate in our Novena Masses, which will start from September 23 to October 1st, 2022. If you wish to sponsor one or several Masses, you may fill out the form at the counters for Masses area and submit it with your donation where you will be provided with an acknowledgement receipt or you may visit our website www.manawagminorbasilica.org for the online PAMISA. All names of donors and sponsors will appear in the electronic souvenir program. Thank you very much for your continued support. Please stand. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagdalaw sa Basilika at inyong pakikisa sa Misa. Naway sa inyong pag-uwi, bitbit nyo ang mga biyaya ng ating Panginoon at ang mga panalangin na mahal na Birheng Maria. Ingat sa pag-uwi. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you gave us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.